All right, guys, so tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, we're gonna come back with our upper body push-pull emphasis. Uh, we're gonna go start with a little warm-up. We're gonna go through 10, 8, 6 of the following, okay? We're gonna start with hand release push-ups, okay? This is a little different than our normal push-ups because with hand release, we come down, release our hands, and drive up. This can either be performed from your toes or from your knees. Uh, if you have trouble getting all the way down, just go to your knees, get as far down as you can, and don't worry about the hand release portion, okay? So you'll start with 10 hand release push-ups. Afterwards, we'll go to our swimmers. Okay, so we're gonna come up in this Superman position with our upper body. Hands do not touch the ground. We're gonna come straight back, squeeze all the way up. That's one, two. Make sure you don't bring your hands out to the side. I want them to stay as close to your body as possible where your thumbs are practically dragging across your body during that entire rep. So we'll start with our hand release push-ups, do 10, then do 10 swimmers. Afterwards, we're gonna come onto our back. We're gonna come into this hollow position. So I'm gonna point my toes. I'm gonna start with my arms straight up. I'm gonna cock back. One, two, three. I'm gonna go all the way to 10. If you struggle with that a little bit, you can bring your arms down, go here, or if that's too hard, you can even bend your legs and keep your arms down, and that'll be the easiest way. So we'll do 10 push-ups, 10 swimmers, 10 hollow rocks, 888, 666. Cool? Afterwards, we're gonna go through another every other minute on the minute. Uh, we're gonna do this for 20 minutes, okay? So it'll actually be 10 minutes of work. The way I'll do it in class is I will go for a minute, then you guys will go for a minute. That way you guys can watch me and then I can watch and coach you, okay? So what we're gonna do each minute or every other minute, uh, we're gonna do the same thing. It's gonna be 35 seconds of dumbbell floor press followed by 25 seconds of floor wipers. Okay, so we're gonna come down like this. We're gonna start with this dumbbell right here. Now, most of us have a relatively light dumbbell, so I'm gonna encourage you to go touch and go. So typically we go up, come down, deactivate, drive right back up, okay? For today, it's gonna be boom. You're just gonna bang out as many as you can. After that 35 seconds, you'll keep that dumbbell up there. We're gonna bring our foot to one side of the dumbbell and then the other. Notice when I'm doing this from a front view, I kind of counterbalance my legs by moving the dumbbell to the other side. So we go down in this V position. You'll perform that for 25 seconds. So it's 35 seconds of floor press followed by 25 seconds of floor wipers. Once you guys are done, I'll go for a minute and we'll go back and forth, 10 rounds each, 20 total. Cool? Afterwards, for our main event, we're gonna go through 30, 20, 10 single arm renegade pulls. So it's basically like a renegade row, but you're only gonna use one arm and we're not doing a push up. But for this, uh, and for this movement only, we're gonna do 30 reps, 30, 20, 10 reps on both sides. So when we do this, we're gonna start with this dumbbell here and we're gonna go one, two, three, all the way to 30. Notice how my knee isn't dropping, I'm not shifting like this. Everything stays nice and stable. I'm just thinking about pulling with my elbow. Okay, 30 on my right, 30 on my left. All right, from there, I'm gonna stand up, grab this dumbbell from side to side. I'm gonna do 30 ground to overhead. Make sure you don't go all the way down to the ground. Our fingers are underneath and you don't wanna jam your fingers. So it's down, up, that's one, two, kind of like a snatch, right? So instead of bringing it up and around, we're gonna keep it nice and close for 30 reps. From there, hang on to that dumbbell, 30 bicep curls, and then come up and over, 30 tricep extension. Once you've completed that, you're back to your renegade pulls. So it's gonna be 20 on your right, 20 on your left, 20 ground overhead, 20 bicep curl, 20 tricep extension. Then we're gonna do 10, 10, 10, 10, done.
Cool. So it's going to be a short little main event today because I did want to throw in some cord there. So we're going to add that as a finisher. So for our finisher today, our fourth part, we're going to do five minutes, max effort, weighted sit-ups. Um, if you have a lighter dumbbell, I prefer you go a little bit lighter for this. If you only have a heavy dumbbell, feel free to just do it without weight, okay? So we're gonna grab here, straight up. One, two, three. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to go for five minutes straight, so you kinda wanna strategize, right? I'll probably start with 10, then I'll go to eight, and then I'll hit set to six for the remainder of that five minutes, okay? You guys can pick however you wanna do it. So, that's our Tuesday workout, and we'll see you tomorrow.